Okay, so this is the new um, glute max exercise that we've, um, where we're going to start giving the patients. Uh, this is better because it decreases piriformis muscle, activation of piriformis muscle. So we're always trying to do things a little bit better. So um, the angle of the camera, I've tried to get it. It's sort of hard to, to see. I'll go through this obviously with you in the clinic. But um, yeah, hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve. So knees will be bent up. Now, they may be bent from 90 degrees, they may be bent at sort of 45 degrees, depending on the person and the shape of the person's hips. Everyone's hips are slightly unique, okay? So there's no perfect position for, for anyone in any particular. Um, or there's no generic position that's right for everyone, I should say. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the leg up, yep, and you're gonna be holding that like that. We're not twisting it out like we used to do. We're gonna try and keep that pretty straight like that. And as I said, that's going to de-facilitate the muscles in the back of the hip, uh, which is known as piriformis. So we're just going to keep that one there. Now, where you may feel it is a, you feel an ache into the uh, the calf muscle. I want to make sure your foot is like is like a dead foot. Yeah. So you can sort of just shake it around and just let it, let it hang. And then you're going to be holding that one there. You're going to be right on the edge of your body, so your body is going to be 100% perpendicular to the table, and you're holding that in through there. Now, pretty quickly, you should feel that start to facilitate in your glute there. And this is particularly good for people who have really chronic SIJ problems, because it takes that, that tension out of piriforms. Now, if you're not feeling it there, move your legs sort of slightly away from you, and hold it in that position. And I'm holding that one there. Some people will have it in this position. Yes. You want to make, make sure that the lower down your leg goes, the more you're going to go into your low back. So you've just got to find a place where it starts to burn and widen your glute. So you'll be holding that for a minute on each side. Um, once you've done one minute, you'll sw swap over to the other minute. Uh, sorry, swap over to the other side. You do that for a minute, and then you're going to go back and forth from side to side for the amount of time that I've suggested, um, or the chiropractor suggested. It's generally anywhere between sort of 10 and 20 minutes, depending on what other rehab you're doing. So as I said, you should feel it in the glute. So you're burning in the bum, in through this area. You shouldn't feel it anywhere else in your leg. If you're feeling it in the hip flexor, feeling it in the back, feeling it in the calf, make sure that you, um, you, you tell us with your next um, uh, appointment because we don't want that to happen. All right, good luck with it. See you later on.